Video filters are effects that you can apply to your media clips to change their style or appearance. In this tutorial, I'll teach you how to apply different filters to your media clips that will allow you to get creative with your video projects. I'll also show you how you can customize them to create your own unique variations of the various filters. Before we get started, if you're watching this video on YouTube, you'll find a link in the description below that will take you to our tutorial page on the Discovery Center. Here, you can download a written copy of this tutorial to follow along. Now let's get started. First, make sure you drag the media clip you want to add a filter to onto the video track on your timeline. To view all the filters available for you to use, click on the FX tab to go to the filters library. You can scroll down and view the large selection of filters you have available to use. You can also choose any of the categories to search for a specific filter you want to use. For example, darkroom or nature painting. To preview a filter, just click on the thumbnail and then press the play button. If you find a filter that you really like and want to be able to access it easily later on, simply click on the filter and then click Add to My Favorites. Now we can click on the My Favorites category and the filter we just added will be saved here. To remove a filter from your Favorites category, just right-click on the filter and click Delete. If you are using Video Studio Pro, you can upgrade to Video Studio Ultimate, which includes many more effects in the FX library. You can also purchase additional effects from the Get More tab on the Welcome screen. We can access this quickly by clicking on this plus icon in our Favorites library. And here you'll see all the filters available for purchase. Let's go back to the Edit tab and go to the Camera Lens category. Then select the monochrome filter and simply drag it on top of your video clip to add the filter. You'll see a little FX icon has been added to your media clip to indicate a filter has been added. To remove a filter, simply click on the star icon on your media clip, then go to Delete, then Filter, and then Monochrome. If we press Play to preview, you'll see this has given a black and white effect to our entire video clip. By default, the filter applied to a clip is always replaced with any new filter dragged onto the clip. Double-click on the media clip on your timeline and go to the Effects tab. Uncheck Replace Last Filter to apply multiple filters to a single clip. Now I'll add the wind filter on top of the clip and you can see that both filters have been added to the media clip. You can toggle the view icon beside each filter on and off to view the filters independently. Make sure to enable all filters you wish to use when you render the project later so they will all be included in your final video. You can also adjust the order of the filters by clicking on the up or down arrows. Changing the order will adjust how the video looks depending on the filter used. Now we're going to get a bit more creative with this clip and add our own customizations to the filter. Click on the filter you want to customize and select Customize Filter. A dialog box will pop up and it will show you a preview of the original video beside the video with our added filter. For this filter, I want to change the monochrome color and give it a pink hue. I'll click on the first keyframe, which is this small icon and then click on monochrome to change the color. Select the color you want and click OK. Now right click on the keyframe and select copy and paste to all so that the hue will remain pink throughout the entire video. Let's press play to preview. Now let's say we want the video to turn from pink at the beginning to yellow at the end. We can click on the end keyframe and change the monochrome color to yellow. And now let's preview our video again. And you'll see that we've now added a cool color tone effect to our clip. In the second clip, I'm going to drag and drop the ghost motion filter onto this video clip of a musician. Most filters offer a number of presets that we can choose from. 
we can click on the drop-down menu icon to view how the ghost motion filter will look like depending on the preset we choose. We can make further customizations to the preset by once again clicking on Customize Filter and then making any adjustments to the beginning or ending keyframes. For example, I am going to click on the end keyframe and increase the softness level under Effect Controls so that the video becomes progressively softer. We can experiment with all the different settings until we get the exact look we're going for. Then click OK when you're done, and let's preview the result. And it's just that easy to experiment and combine different filters using Video Studio. If you're watching this video on YouTube, you'll find a link in the description below that will take you to our tutorial page on the Discovery Center. Here you can download a written copy of this tutorial to follow along and find other helpful tutorials for Video Studio.